Yeah, using this Royal Purple in a Jeep was one of the best things I ever did for the uh, the locker in the back, you know, the power tracks. Um, and, you know, I ain't going to do the body work on it. I'm going to leave it like this because I kind of like the way that looks. You know, steel plate, bolted in there and stuff. <laughs> Rivets on the top. But uh, the only time I realized there's, uh, you know, you know, a, a, the lockers in there is when I first start out. Um, I'm going to make a really sharp 90-degree turn. And... It, you know, I could feel it do a little thing in the back like that, but as soon as I use it, maybe, I don't know, just a few minutes, it really clears up, and after five minutes, I don't know, notice nothing. So, it's got to be this, because I remember the old eight and three quarter uh, Chrysler Sure Grips, the Posies, they make noise unless you use really high performance fluid. And this is about the best stuff you can get. Maybe a uh, red wine might be a good one too, with some other high performance fluid. But you know, that's the best junk there is, pretty much, and uh, it makes a big difference. I heard a lot of people driving around in the lockers. They're like, you know, to be going down the highway, and they feel it go like this, and every once in a while. I don't feel none of that. I don't feel nothing even after it warms up. This stuff is really good. Now, this is usually the part I kind of feel it or it does something. I got manual steering in here. <laughs> because uh, it just came out of the back out of the driveway. So, but it's, uh, you know, as soon as it warms up, I don't even have a problem going around in parking lots and stuff. Now, I've uh, actually been using this Royal Purple uh, quite a while, like since this came out. And I was using it in the um, El Camino, in the old Saginaw. Now, that Saginaw trance has been in there, I don't know how many miles. It's a used trance I put in there back in the early 90s because I did a burnout with the El Camino one time, this big burnout, and uh, I snapped the main shaft on the old Saginaw right in half. <laughs> it wasn't fun. I was screwed up. I, was, I couldn't move. You know, the whole, it was, the main shaft was actually split in half. Because of, uh, I had the super heavy duty zoom clutch in there that was actually, uh, you know, bending up the, uh, <laughs> the the clutch linkage and stuff. But um, um, the thing is, um, when I, you know, when I when I used it, the Royal Purple. I mean, I drove the thing cross country a couple times. I drove it out to uh, Utah from California, up and down the whole East Coast about I don't know 15 times. And um, that was a used transmission put back in there in the uh, early 90s. And you could see what I could, you know, I could see if you looked at the video with the, uh, when I was changing out these seals on these shift shaft seals, you could see inside there the condition of the gears. And uh, we were pretty damn good. They were pretty damn good. So actually it looked like it was in real good shape. So, you know. You know, that stuff, it pays, it pays to actually have really good oil and stuff, but it really pays on this locker, because I just pulled out of here, oops, wrong gear, talking and shifting and pulling a camera at the same time, driving. Um, you know, I just pulled out of the, um, just made a hard left turn, and I don't feel nothing. I didn't feel no shaking, nothing. I didn't feel no, like, locking in and out, and a lot of times you feel that. Now, the other thing I want to say is, you know, I looked up, because I did a lot of research on this junk, you know, even about using a, one of these up in the front. If you're on a trail, it probably makes sense, but, you know, I heard that if you're going to, where you can have, if you use one of these power tracks lockers up front, you want to make sure everything up front is really strong, because that's the place it kind of tends to break stuff. Not the locker itself, but other things. And uh, that's one reason I'm not going to put one up front at all, because in this little Suzuki Samurai, it'll be pretty squirrely as it is, you know, even with the, uh, you know, one in the rear, but it's not, it's not bad. I mean, it's went through that turn, nothing, nothing. It's only like, um, usually pulling out of the driveway as soon as I get going about a mile, no problem. And I know it has to do with the oil. It really has a lot more to do with the oil than anything. So, 
probably should be using my other, uh, what the hell you call it, that damn uh, GoPro camera. I'm using my cell phone here. It's a little bouncy, of course, here in a Jeep, but, you know, I just want to really tell you, you know, this thing worked out pretty damn good. Now, the only thing that's screwy with this car, though, is um, wind. That's where you get blown around. You're doing about 55, and if you're doing about 60, and the wind kicks up, you're a samurai. Scary drive, man. Even with that stabilizer up front, I don't know, I might do something else, change the, uh, um, the caster angle, but put some shims up underneath the springs. But I'm not sure about that, because it's not really that bad. So, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm running stock stuff, you know? But, uh, no, I don't have any problem with the thing moving around with the locker. That royal purple oil is really important. So, you know, I've, yeah, if you're bitching about the locker to lock it in and out and all this kind of shit, this is a simple hot tip. That freaking oil makes a difference. Now, maybe you don't have to get royal purple. Maybe you get red line or something. I mean, it's not a commercial. I'm just pointing out that a real high quality oil makes a difference, and I know it used to make a big difference on the old posies that used to make noise going around the corner, especially like the uh, Chrysler Sure Grip they used to have with the uh, cones in it. That damn thing would moan and groan like crazy if you didn't freaking, uh, um, you know, have some really good oil in it. And they used to put this stuff, it was actually an additive from the, the whale, the sperm whale, not the sperm of whale, the whale, the, the sperm whale. They used to put that additive in it for the, uh, the old posies. I don't think they sell that stuff anymore, but that kind of stuff actually would make a major difference in how this locker is going to work. It'll smooth it out a lot more. And uh, I know people driving around bitching about these things. They really ain't bad at all. Depends on the oil. Big, I can't emphasize it enough because this thing actually really works great with it. I don't have any problems. Yeah, I was just pulling in this parking lot and, um, you know, I had to make a real sharp turn right, a real sharp turn left, and back up and go the other way and all that kind of crap. The only thing I can hear. And I don't even think it would pick it up on the phone. It was is a slight, very very slight clicking in the back. And you know a lot of people hear these big noises because you're in a samurai. There's no insulation, right? It's uh, you know I want to explain this a little longer because I know some people look at these videos. It's too long to explain it in 30 seconds. But I'm really telling you, man, the shit works. I mean that's exactly what's going on. It's like I hear a real slight clicking when there's no noises around. You're in a parking lot making re the tightest turns you can in different directions. That's it. The, the rear end doesn't go around like this. It doesn't move around like that or nothing. It, it's it's good. It's good. It works a lot, lot smoother with the right oil. So, I mean, what is that going to cost you to freaking fix that problem, right? Nothing, right? I mean, what? I mean, whatever the oil costs, not much, right?